Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. Today we're on day 21 of our Island of Everbell. <laughs> All right, let's see what uh, uh, Isabel has to say for today. No news. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> she hasn't had much news lately. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, so for today, we actually have quite a few things to get accomplished. Um, it's hard to believe, but we have been starting our builds on this island already. <laughs> I can see Raymond walking around back behind the house. He's so cute. I'm so excited to have him here. Um, but yeah, a couple things we need to get accomplished today. Um, definitely I wanted to do a build, a speed build later on with, um, Nook's Cranny. Um, I moved that and put it in a different location. Oh, look at our little friends here doing their workout. <laughs> oh, we got to cheer them on. <laughs> it's so adorable. We got to say hi. Piper, you're so cute. <laughs> look at little Bo. Oh, I love him so much. No regrets at all getting him. And Goose. Oh, dang it. Okay, so I totally screwed this up. So I have been ignoring Goose pretty hardcore for the last two weeks. Um, I know that's mean. I seriously, like, I feel torn. I really hate not talking to all the villagers, but I'm trying to get him to be the next person to leave just because I know I don't want to keep him on the island. Um, I do like the jock villagers, but I just don't want an angry-faced chicken on the Everbell. So I've actually been ignoring him. I haven't talked to him in two weeks, and I, I accidentally just totally blew that. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so before we get into our build, um, one of the things I actually forgot to do yesterday um, is I forgot to do day number three for our amiibo for Marty, our little cub. Um, for anybody that's watched those videos, we have been inviting Marty um, three times to our campsite with his amiibo card because I decided that I, I was getting a little impatient <laughs> waiting for somebody to think about leaving. Um, the only person I think I've had actually asked to leave is Bo, and I definitely told him no. So this is day three. Um, we need to invite him one more time, and then hopefully once we build him what he asked for today, um, it should trigger um, the scene where he should ask to come move here. We can actually invite him to come move here. So we'll have to decide who um, we are going to replace um, him for. So I'm not, I, I'm thinking either Goose or Renee, um, just because they're the two originals. And I know I don't really want either of them. And usually the two original villagers, I don't know. They're pretty loyal. I don't know if you guys have, have had that experience. Um, let me know if you have. I don't know. I found that on all of my islands I've had a really hard time if, if I don't want the two very beginning starters they like they're Klingon level 10 like they want to stay forever <laughs> so which can be a good thing if there's someone you really like but um or that you want to keep so Marty is here hey little fella <laughs> he's so cute all right let's see what he wants to um oh a mossy garden rock okay it's going to take some stone to make that. Um, I won't bore you guys with the whole building of the item. Um, I do need to run home and make that real quick. And then um, we will go back and give him his mossy garden rock. And hopefully we can invite him to stay here. So I'm really excited. His house is super cute. I did peek. I usually try to let it be a surprise because I, I like the surprises. I'm a person that likes surprises. But um, I did Google his house. Hey, Raymond. Oh, he's so cute. I did Google Marty's house. I wanted to see um, what the outside of it looked like. And it's, I think, a yellowish colored cabin style. It's really super cute. So I think it's going to be perfect for the island. Um, I have not decided what I want to do as far as surrounding the decorating or the build around his house. So if you guys have ideas that you want to throw out there, um, send me a message, write a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear what you think, what we should do with Marty's house. So we're going to go back in and... We're gonna give him his mossy garden rock. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Here's your rock. <laughs> Aw, he's so sweet. Oh, he's giving me a gift. Thanks, bud. That's cute. I love that they give gifts. It's so cute. Sometimes I feel guilty taking their gifts, especially when they have next to nothing. Even more than a sandwich. Oh my gosh, I love the lazy types. Okay, let's see. We should be able to ask him now. 
Okay, so he's thinking it'd be real cool if he could stay. You should live here, Marty. You're so cute. Okay, so he's going to go talk to Tom Nook real quick. And of course, it's going to come back that everything is filled up. Oh. Yeah, so this is where they let you choose. We get to choose who... Um, when you amiibo people in, or villagers, I should say, in, um, you get to choose who you want to boot out in, instead. So this is who we currently have. Um, I'm sort of on the fence about... Yeah, Raymond. I don't think so. <laughs> You're staying, Raymond. It's like Hotel California for you. Um, Colton, I want to keep for a little while longer, so I think we're going to go with Renee. Yep. All right, now he's going to go talk to Renee. For any of you that are new to doing amiibos... I used all my courage and asked. Oh, Marty. Renee said okay. Wait, wait, what? Did she just say because of the night clowns? <laughs> Shut up. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Did you guys catch that? He said that she was thinking of leaving, leaving anyways on account of the night clowns. <laughs> like, what the heck? I love it. These writers, um, these writers for Animal Crossing are just brilliant. I love some of the dialogue in this game. It is so just, <laughs> just priceless. Uh, okay, so it's a done deal. So now that we have confirmed that Marty is coming, I just want to pop over to Renee's house real quick, say goodbye, and just confirm that she's indeed in boxes. So this should mean that tomorrow her plot should be empty and show that it's reserved for Marty. And then the following day is the day that Marty should be moving in to Everbell. So, yep, there she is. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Renee, oh, my OG. Oh, she's going to have a good life, though. She's cute. I have a feeling someone out there will find her and be really excited. Oh, <laughs> she's cute. All right. Well, looks like that worked out fine. So bye, Renee. So she will be leaving and this should be um, an empty sold plot for Marty tomorrow. So yay. Okay, that's accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm just going to run right through here. This is actually the build that we did yesterday in case y'all missed the video. We did a little um, mining area slash dig site area for our museum that we'll be keeping in tent form. Um, if you want to check it out, um, the video, like I said, was posted. Should be the, the previous video that I have on here. So now onto the build for today. Um, we need to do this area over by where I have put Nick's cranny. Um, it was over by Raymond's house. It was really cramped up by resident services. And I thought, you know what? This is going to be like a forest core camping, like, sort of island. So I thought it would be really cute to have like a little rustic marina over here. Or like a boating area, a dock area. So yeah, let's get started with our speed build. I'm going to get some items out here and we will get going. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. <laughs> All right, so I got some items from storage, set them down there in front, and we're going to, of course, probably start um, returning our island designer app, and we're going to do a little bit of, I guess, I guess you would call it like path work. <laughs> I have this wooden board plank. Um, this is a really great custom design that I found on the design portal, and I'll be sure to list the creator information in the description for you, so if you guys want to give it a try or use it for something on your island, you can. Um, there's about, I think, four different pieces of this pattern that I downloaded. Um, a couple of them are a little more worn and jagged looking, which is sort of what I was looking for. Um, just because I do want this island to look sort of foresty and rustic and just thinking along the lines of stuff that you would find near a campsite or something like that. So I'm basically just going to be taking some time to lay down this path and just sort of set it out. I've also got this really great boat custom path. Um, I love this. This There's actually several different versions of this cute little boat. Um, most of them are made by the same designer, so I'll be sure to list their information in the description for you guys. Um, lots of different colors. Um, I've got this brown one that I downloaded as well, just because I thought it would be a useful thing to have on this island. Um, so we're actually gonna just sort of fill up this marina with a few little boats of various types. 
Um, I also have this other custom design. This is by a different designer, but it's like a little kayak. I just think it's so cute. Um, I was actually looking for something like this before when I was doing um, my tropical island and actually it worked out better that I couldn't find anything then. So, um, but I am really excited. I'll be sure to put that creator code information in the description for you too, in case you want to use it. So I'm just placing down this boat pattern. This is a six part pattern for this particular one. I'm just filling it in. <laughs> and the kayak pattern, by the way, back there um, is a three piece pattern. We just duplicated it back there, so we had two of them. I'm sort of filling in more of the pathing too as we're going. I'm honestly like, I don't really have a plan for this build. I sort of just started putting things down and moving things around. So um, usually I sort of have an idea in my head of how I want things to look, but sometimes as I put them together, things either need to be shifted in a direction or I might need to stop and terraform a few things. Um, like one of the things I loved about this island um, and one of the reasons why I chose it in the very beginning was I love this little small peninsula here that's sticking out from next to this bridge. You'll see it um, to the left. I just thought it was so cool. I loved it. It was something that I knew when I got the island. I didn't want to completely destroy it, but seeing how narrow it is, I do think that we're probably going to have to terraform slightly and maybe make it a little bit bigger just so that we can... Um, you know, do a little bit more decorating there. So, cause it's gonna be really hard to fit items or patterns or anything over there. So bear with me here. I am just adding more of the pathing. Um, I'm sort of trying to alternate some of the boards to be, I mean, they're all sort of worn, but some of them I'm choosing to go with the, the super duper worn jagged boards, sort of just alternating them so they're not all the same. But yeah, um, this is a pretty big area. So I wanted to make sure it was sort of filled in. Um, my plan again, as I mentioned um, yesterday, is that I do, um, once we get all the main areas sort of decorated with the big builds on the island, I do want to fill everything in with lots of trees, um, lots of pine trees and, um, you know, things like that, just to make it look more naturey and filled in and closed in. Everything is still pretty open other than stuff that's up on the third tier on the back side of the island. It's still pretty natural back there. Lots of weeds I'm going to have to handle. Um, but yeah, my goal was sort of to fill everything in. So for now, I want to make sure we have ample space without having to move trees um, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I'm placing down this really cute little rope custom design pattern. Um, this actually is by the same person that created the cute little boat pattern that we're using. Um, I love this and check this out. If you take a log stool this designer is so brilliant. They designed this little rope so that if you take a log stool and place it down on the rope, it fits perfectly and it looks like your boat is tethered um, to the dock. So um, yeah, I'll go back over there in, in a second and show you what that looks like because I just thought it was completely genius and I love it. <laughs> just gonna grab more items um, so that we can continue on. Lots of things, like I said, for this build. So I'll try to go over them as we go. And my pockets are full. I feel like this is a struggle every time. There's our cute little log stool. I just love how this looks. It's super cute and it adds a 3D dimension to the flat pattern. So um, the other thing is this cute um, festival garland. If you place it on the boat, um, the creator made the boat just wide enough so that if you place that down, it'll look like a little sailboat, which I totally adore. Just love it. Um, we also have this ore pattern. Um, I'll be sure to list that creator information for you as well. Just a lot of little things that are sort of marine based and for boats, something that you would see in a um, dock area near a campsite or a foresty area, foresty vacation area, I guess. <laughs> so we've got all of our pattern down finally. Um, we've got our adorable little boats down. I wanted to do something with this peninsula. I made it a little bit wider as you can see. So we should be able to fit some things here better now. Um, I want to do another rope pattern and we'll probably do the same thing um, with a little log stool. Um, but one of the things I wanted to use the oars again, but one of the things I wanted to use is I love this new item, that carp banner um, that they came out with recently. I think it was from the April update, if I'm not mistaken. It's a huge item and it takes up quite a few squares. So my goal was once we sort of filled in this peninsula, I wanted to make sure I could put that big flag sort of at the point here. So you, you can see, you can see, I'm just trying to like make it big enough that I'm going to actually be able to accomplish this because you'll see it's quite big. 
There it is. Boom. <laughs> Carpet banner. It's so cute though. Check it out. The, the fish flags like wave in the breeze. It's just so cute. I love it. <laughs> Perfect. I just think it's going to look really cool overhead. So the thing about this build too, I was trying to be mindful of is it is actually part of our flyover zone. I don't know for anyone that's newer to the game, the flyover zone is the part that when you are returning from visiting another island, it will show you flying over top of your island when you're returning home. And it'll show a certain section of the island. Usually it's a diagonal section um, from the northeast down, um, I guess maybe towards the southwest, towards your airport. So I, I try to, when I'm designing my island, to, to put things in those areas specifically just because it is a cool view. Um, so yeah, this, um, this should be in our flyover zone and maybe when we're finished here, we'll do a quick flyover just to see how it looks from the sky. Um, I'm just sort of adding more things to this build. Um, I got some tire stacks here. I added a little kiosk that has like a little kayak or canoe information area where you can sign up to rent your canoe or kayak to go on the lake. Um, some log stakes, a little life ring, and I have this cute inflatable sofa that I thought might be cute to put behind Nook's cranny. We've got our phone booth that we bought with our Nook Miles, and I just have like a little crafting bench and a trash bin back there too. We've got a fishing rod stand. Those you can obtain from doing the fishing tournaments with CJ. A fish rack, fishing rod stand of a different color, and these cute little anchor statues. Um, these actually are a gift from Gulliver love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wanted to put a little bit of fencing here um, just to make it more entrancey, I guess. So I have this rope fence. I'm just putting three pieces on each side of the dock leading over to our marina area. We'll put down a couple of log stakes and I think that should do it for this area and then we'll be sure to do our flyover. I'm really excited. I hope it turns out as cute as I'm hoping it will. Fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> So here it is, our finished product. Um, uh, I love this primitive Nook's Cranny. This, this primitive version, I wish we could keep it this way, but unfortunately the game does automatically upgrade to the other Nook's Cranny 30 days out. So we'll have to always remember. Let's hop in the plane and see our overhead view, shall we? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love how the peninsula turned out. Oh my gosh, and look, oh! Guys, we're going to be able to see our dig site from yesterday from overhead too. That's awesome. I'm really excited about that. We're going to have to do something with this entrance here, but we'll get to that eventually. Anyways, guys, I am so thrilled with how it's turned out. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey with Everbell. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, let me know if you decide to do this yourself. I'd love to hear all about how yours turned out. Wishing you guys a great day. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.